Welcome back, fans. This is Dave Yearwood with another Sunday afternoon with the PWI Championship Wrestling. And there you see in our first action event today, Bobo Brazil Jr. in there against one Billy Eaton, who takes him down with a flying clothesline. At ringside here with me again today is Dallas James. Dallas, we've got some news for the fans who could not travel with us on the northern tour up into Michigan. The man yeah, with Michigan. Michigan. Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota. Now you see that Billy Newton got off to a quick start because the last couple weeks he's had a rough time of it and I think he's got his head together and uh, he knows now when you're in there against any PWI wrestler, you better come prepared. And one night. And especially against an ex-champion. That's right. And the man we're talking about, Bobo Brazil Jr. has lost the title a week ago in Minnesota, actually in Rochester, Minnesota. The one and only Bobo Brazil Jr. lost the PWI. <laughs> yeah, and look, look oh, who's coming goes. out to rub it Ooh. in. Coming yes. out to rub it in. It's a wonder he doesn't have the belt with him, but maybe he uh, doesn't want Bobo to get a good look at it. Well, there you see the man that took the title from the PWI former champion, Boy, that's, Bobo that's... Brazil Jr. <laughs> Being accompanied there by Casper. the man in white. No, not Casper, it's the grasshopper. But in there, you see Billy Newton who is facing. I think that's rubbing salt in the wound. Facing the former PWI champion, Bobo Brazil Jr. And there, there you see him. Oh, Adam blindsiding from the back, taking his attention off. A uh, former champion should know better, but as we know, he is also human, Dallas James, because he no long, longer wears the medal. Well, he knows better, and Walker out here, I'm just, I'm surprised. I can't figure out, if you're going to come out and rub salt in the wound, well, look at that, if you're going to come out here and taunt, why wouldn't you bring the belt? I don't, I don't get that. Maybe he'd get fined, maybe he'd get suspended, I don't know. But this between Walker and Bobo Jr. is a long way from being over. It definitely is a, is a score that has not been settled with Bobo, and now we know he is going to want some rematch to face off again with gentleman Johnny Walker. But right now he has to come come to grips with one Billy Newton there as he brings him out, bounces him across, takes that elbow across the inner thigh of one Billy Newton. Like I said, I hope Billy Newton's got his head on straight. Last couple of weeks he's been just torn apart by different wrestlers and uh, you know, if, if he lasts five or six minutes, a lot of people's gonna say, well look, he went five, six, seven minutes with the ex-champion. He didn't go three or four minutes with this wrestler or that wrestler. But I'm sure he's got his head on. Well, so as you, oh, here he goes, showing you. Uh, again, taking advantage. Oh, boy, he almost had him there, Dallas. He was coming down for that third slap. Again, Johnny Walker there on the outside, taking the attention of the former PWI champion, Bobo Brazil Jr. And there you see Walker heading back with the escort of Grasshopper to the dressing room. Well, I'm and sure that uh, Bobo would rather have Johnny in the ring at this time. But Billy Newton, he has just got to get more aggressive. Billy Newton able to get that right shoulder up there in time before the three count. Snap mare over there by the former PWI champion, Bobo Brazil Jr. in there with chin lock now working on Billy Newton. You know, that was a classic match they had up there in Minnesota. Went over 20 minutes. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the official time of it was, but I do know it was over 20 minutes. And like him or not, and he's not my favorite person, I'll go on record saying that, Bobo Brazil Jr. showed a lot of determination, a lot of class. He had injured that knee the night before in Racine, Wisconsin. And he come out there and put up the fight of his life, basically on one leg, against Johnny Walker, and Johnny was relentless that night, focused much of the match and his attention on that leg, and of course, had a little help from Casper. Well, as you were saying, Johnny Walker came out with fire in his eye, and he was looking to do one thing and take away that title. Hey, he gave him that title. That was his last shot. I mean, that was the wind-up of the tour. That was his last shot. Uh, they were scheduled uh, last night with Dice Man Ronnie Vegas. Uh, of course, that changed that. But a lot of things changed. We're, we're sure to see. Dice is injured. A lot of injuries. Big Rig's injured. Don't know how long he's going to be out. 
Uh, he may be out indefinitely. Well, it is one rough and rugged sport. You definitely got to be able to get in and out of that ring but you know what? without injury. I got a healthy partner. A healthy partner. A healthy partner. One that's coming back again and again. Again and again. Well, this Blood's is thicker than water. This is definitely a change for one Dallas James when he's got when he's got the brother in there. This panel's made of wood. Maybe I should knock on it. Well, right I could now, get injured, or Austin could get injured, but right now it's uh, looks like straight Billy, forward. Looks like Billy Newton is uh, facing possible injury here. If Bobo Brazil takes him any further, takes that knee back a little more. See Newton trying to work his way over to the ropes so he can make a break here. And fans, uh, as the referee calls for a break, we're going to break away for a little commercial information. We'll be right back with more PWI Championship Wrestling. And as Bobo takes Newton into the turnbuckle corner, again he takes him, slamming his head into that buckle. I think Bobo is not 100% in this match. I still think his body may be in the ring, but I think his mind is about 50 feet the other direction and what's behind that possible that curtain and this is not let's that make a deal. That could have been curtains there for Newton. No, Newton was able to get up again, Dallas. You know, man, pick, sure. a, pick a box or pick what's behind curtain number three, the old uh, Monty Hall show, but I think Bobo would like to have what's behind that curtain and one gentleman, Johnny Walker. A couple more punches there, followed up by a headbutt. Could be curtains for Mr. Newton. There you see it. Going back, this could be it. One headbutt taking Billy Newton down. You know who he oh, should be mad at. Cover there. Now look at that. Now this man's isn't, choking him. This isn't champion-like at all. Not at all. I, I, I I'm think, telling you, they got to his mind, and he's a changed man. Well, Walker definitely playing the mind games out there. I Allowed think, Newton to catch Bobo Brazil sleeping on a couple of occasions there now. Well, I think Bobo Jr., I think the one man he should be mad at, and it, he might be, but he's not with PW right now due to the injury, and that's Big Rick Rollins. Big Rick Rollins was up running his mouth all across Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, even over in Illinois, Indiana, everywhere, saying, don't trust Austin James. Don't trust Austin James. Austin James is doing this for Dallas James. Did Austin James turn his back on Bobo? No. no but I think, that, I he think he that got Bobo to thinking, what if? And he lost his concentration, and then Walker got him. And I think he'd admit that. So the man he should be mad at is Big Rig Rollins. And if Big Rig ever comes back to PWI, don't be surprised if Bobo don't call him out for an interview. A uh, boot to the chin takes Bill Newton down to the, uh, to the floor here. I never did trust that truck driver. Well, I know you two have, your, have had your run-ins in the past. Uh, um, should have kept his, his 18 wheels out of it. Well, I remember when he uh, changed his 18 wheels in for uh, one Batmobile easy, to make an appearance. Easy, easy. Well, we don't want to tread on history too long yeah. here. And again, he's not shoulder forever. block. Shoulder block by Bobo into the midsection of Bill Newton. What's the name of that movie out now? Forever? Well, he's not forever. Oh, and it looks like Bill Newton's not for long here. Bobo just not moving. As you were saying, the, well, that knee's knee still bothering him. I think his, I think both ends are bothering him. I think his knees bothering him. I think his mind's bothering him. He's just not the same. Bobo, and, and the mentality's not there. How many times have you seen Bo Jr. do that? Not on. And uh, Billy not, do, not on a wrestler. Billy uh, Newton is not Newton, no, in the not. top ten of the PWI, but he's an up-and-coming wrestler, got a lot of potential. Why does Bobo have to do that? Frustration. Oh, got him back here. He's got young man trying to kick, able to kick out. We are definitely not seeing the man of the past here, Bobo Brazil Jr. You know, working here. He seems to not have the total concentration, but then at times seem to be disturbed with uh, with his abilities here in the ring today against the young man, Bill Newton. Well, as the referee right. gets in there to get a closer. Uh, you know, Bobo's been there. around. He's been around for a long time, and he, you know, he, he doesn't want to go out there and really hurt anybody. And it, it is possible that he's in there with this young kid and a kid that's trying to make it here in PWI, and maybe he just wants to wrestle him, doesn't really want to hurt him. And, you know, that makes sense. But then again, you go back a few minutes ago, a knee over the rope choking him. 
then that just kind of contradicts what he's doing. Well, Dallas, he may be thinking about that man that was out here at ringside. He may see Walker every, six minutes. every three or four minutes. He may be thinking, Ooh. you know, well, that's Johnny Walker. Yeah, well, I think he was uh, thinking Johnny Walker doing his own version of the uh, cactus jam there across the throat of Billy Newton. Headbutt there again. Setting up off the rope. Duck. Shoulder block into the chest. Uh, do going down. We've got two, three, and we've got it now. The winner, Bobo Brazil Jr. I'm in there tough, but I, again, I just don't think this is the same Bobo Jr. And uh, I think his mind is elsewhere. I don't think he's 100% physically still. And it's a long way from being over between him and gentleman Johnny Walker. There you see it. Parts of the replay. Bobo, a foot over the rope, a knee choking man. That's just not Bobo Jr. There's your winner, Bobo Brazil Jr.